Welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, where every Monday around noon we go out live and we attempt to provide uh, a topic of interest to everyone out there that you can incorporate in, in your daily life. I'm Jim Ellermeyer, I'm a behavioral health therapist here at Seclair, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues, and on my left would be... Jeffrey Stebbins, physician assistant student from St. Francis University. And on my right... Megan Piper from Seton Hill University, physician assistant student. And here at Seclair, where we're in a holistic integrative psychiatric facility, we do not treat diagnoses as we treat people. And given that mission, given that program that we have, what we look at is all different types of enhancements to an individual's life that could possibly be offered. And today I was thrilled to uh, get a special guest. Today we're joined, we're joined by uh, Dr. Linda Means, by Means of Magic over the uh, internet. Uh, Linda, welcome. Thank you, Jim. Happy to be here. Uh, could you could you share with us a little bit about yourself, uh, a little bit about your life's journey, and what landed you here today in front of us? Sure. Um, I I was for for 20 years a corporate research scientist. I worked in artificial intelligence. I never knew at that time that I was going to end up working in the healing arts, but you know these things happen. I I was leading a pretty stressed out sort of life. Um, had two kinds of cancer within two years. This was in the mid-90s and my response to that was to use it as a wake-up call to explore every area of my life and see what I was doing that was creating chronic, chronic stress in my life, um, what I could be doing to be living my life in a, a happier, more peaceful, more graceful sort of way in order to promote uh, good health at, at the deepest level. And so I, I went on a healing journey in many, many ways and, and did experience some tremendous healing from Esalen Massage, which is the work that I now practice. After, after three months of receiving Esalen Massage once a week, I realized that it had given me a big jump start on a, a, a profound healing process. And so I went out to the Esalen Institute in California the following month to start my training. So that's, so that's quite a shift in, in uh, your life experience. And I, what I'm hearing from you is that you perhaps unplugged yourself from all the, all the chatter and the nonsense of daily life. Well, I, I did very much. Um, I, I made a lot of changes in my relationships with people. I, I filed for divorce because I, I knew that the, my marriage was causing me a lot of emotional distress. And ultimately, I changed my profession um, to, I, you know, my old profession was something that I could do well. I didn't love it. It felt, and I felt trapped in that life of, of living the life as, a, as a, a, a corporate employee, a research scientist, and um, the, the life that I ultimately created for myself is rather different from that. It makes me really happy. I have a passion for what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm basically doing the, the things that back in, back in those days, um, I would try to eke out, you know, small bits of time too late at night for things like yoga and meditation and other kinds of healing work, mindfulness work for myself, studying herbal medicine and things like that. So I took what had been my, my secret passion that I didn't have a lot of time for and I made it my life and my profession. So what you're saying is that you took your, the choices back into your life. You were the one. You were the one who was making the choices. Yes, very much so. I I I formulated my life in just the way that I'd like to be living it, so that I feel I feel a, a strong sense of personal freedom, which I I didn't have before. So, could you tell us a little bit about the Esalen Massage? Yes, this is the the work that was developed at the Esalen Institute in Big Sur, California, which is the original. A center for the study of human potential and it was founded in the early 60s by Michael Murphy and Dick Price who were two uh, psychology students from Stanford who got interested in what at the time was called humanistic psychology and the way that they've explained it is that traditionally psychology, psychiatry, 
um, was focused on the, the people who were at the lowest functioning end of the spectrum. People with severe mental illness, depression, psychosis, schizophrenia, and so on, and trying to find ways to help moving th those people into a more normal range of functioning. The, the humanistic psychologists, however, said, why are we not looking at the full range of human functioning, human potential? Um, we should be looking at the people who are the highest functioning individuals, who are happy, healthy, motivated, energized, who love life, who are, are uh, very consider themselves successful in every way, and be looking at how we can help move people from a normal range into this higher level of of uh, fulfilling your potential, being all that you can be. And this was the basis for um, the work at the Esalen Institute, and 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 including um, a lot of the early Gestalt psychotherapists were gathering there. It became a big center for the study of Gestalt, and early on, the Gestalt uh, therapists found that. When they added body awareness exercises to their, their form of talk therapy, that the body awareness helped to accelerate and facilitate emotional and psychological breakthroughs. And this was the, the origin and the basis of Esalen Massage. It's a full body oil massage that is approached in a way as to help provide an experience of awareness in, in your body. Of so how what everything you're, is connected. Excuse me. So what you're talking about is not letting good be the enemy of the best. Pardon? Not letting, not letting good letting, be the enemy of the best. Uh, in terms of the, the Esalen work, absolutely. In terms of self-actualization, self yes. Yes, yeah, self-actualization, absolutely. And uh, the, Gestalt, uh, the Gestalt theories, of course, uh, fit in here at Seclair. One of our, our primary modalities is dialectical behavioral therapy, which of course the core and stretches across all the four modules is mindfulness, as I'm sure that you're aware that Gestalt theory uh, deals on with being present and aware in this moment. Exactly, and, and that is also the basis for the way that Esalen massage is practiced. The presence of the therapist plays a big part in the interaction that happens during this massage session. And as a therapist, what I'm doing is I am quieting my mind, I'm being present with the connection that my hands are making, which means that I'm not performing any kind of a massage routine, and I'm not doing anything that's premeditated, because that is not being present with the work. I'm being present enough so that my hands can just uh, feel, listen, explore the body, I'm looking for areas where things feel stuck, maybe the movement's restricted or muscles are tight, and just um, exploring that area with my hands. And my hands are well trained. I know a lot of different ways of working with the body, but I'm just allowing my hands to, to move around and find ways of getting things moving a little bit, and then taking energy that's been um, unstuck in that area and dispersing it through the energy flow of the body. And at the same time, I am um, giving my attention to helping you have an experience of feeling your body as a whole unit, feeling everything connected. And it's almost the opposite of Swedish massage in a way, where as, as you might know, Swedish massage is a systematic way of working progressively on different muscle groups. So the focus is on your left arm, and then the focus is on your right arm, and then your back, and then your right foot, and your left foot. And, and so you're, the, the therapist is addressing the body in a segmented sort of way as a collection of parts. And, and when you receive a massage in that form, you're experiencing your body in that way. You're really feeling different parts of the body being isolated. Esalen massage is the opposite. I'm trying to help you feel your body as if almost it's one big muscle, even though I'm working very specifically on particular muscles at a certain time. I'm trying to do that in a connected sort of way. So for example, if I'm trying to 
um, release a tight muscle in your shoulder. And all of the muscles in your shoulder girdle are connected. So I'm trying to work on as much of your shoulder girdle as possible with movement, stretching, specific massage work while I'm working out a particular knot. And I may be working on the hip at the same time or the lower back or the other shoulder or both arms at the same time, both legs at the same time, so that you can feel the movement in your shoulder and how it translates to other parts of your body. I'm trying to bring your attention to movement and the way that everything moves together and and uh, coordinates in the body. Indeed, uh, and I'm well aware the traditional Western allopathic medicine is playing catch up on a lot of uh, the, the techniques that uh, you espouse. Uh, so what I do, I have I have two devotees, two people that are being trained in uh, Western allopathic medicine. So I and I know that they have an open mind. Of course, they're here at Saclair. So I'd like I'd like to hear from uh, from you two. Any any thoughts uh, to Linda? Well, Linda, I really do think it's interesting to see somebody go from one field of practice to something completely different, just to better your lifestyle and to better what you think is right. And I think that was really, really interesting to see somebody take not just um, medicine, but to consider their full body to in order to really better themselves as a whole. So um, you are like the prime example of what they're trying to do here at St. Clair. Megan? Um, as far as uh, the massage connecting all parts of the body, I think that's important in um, in mental um, healing as well as physical healing and it's kind of um, the essence of what people are trying to get at it as far as um, connecting the mind and the body to help um, create wellness in both aspects of their life. The mind-body connection uh, cannot, cannot be overlooked in the fact that many people don't understand that the aches and pains, a lot of fibromyalgia, lower back pain, are conditions where stress and anxiety, emotions, have not been able to be properly processed and remain and stuck in the body. So could you could you go through, briefly go through a typical uh, session, uh, an Esalen massage session? Yes. Uh, Jim, before we would start our session, I would ask you what, what you, what do you need today? And, you know, some clients will respond with an answer about a physical ailment that, that they want help with. Oh, my back hurts, or uh, my, my feet hurt, or I ha have headaches, or a frozen shoulder, or whatever it is. Uh, many people will say, um, please calm my central nervous system or help me to relax or help me to to feel like myself again you know I get these kinds of these kinds of answers please help me um, with with this burden of grief or anger that I'm carrying around so um, I I take whatever you give me and I get a sense of what how I want to approach this massage. Uh, for one thing, I'm going to create a playlist for the music that I use based on your individual session, your needs, the kind of energy that's coming through the, the, the music, and choosing music that I feel, feel might be very uh, nurturing and compelling to you to help you quiet your mind. Because one of the first things I want to do in the session is help you move into a state of extremely deep relaxation. And that means stopping all the chatter in your mind. And I can do that at the start of the session through, through music by putting on some extremely beautiful music that's so compelling that you can't help but just listen to it. You become absorbed in it. Sometimes I'll sing along with the music because that also really draws your attention uh, into the experience and away from your your shopping list that you've been making in your head. I, I always like to begin by putting my hands on some part of the body that you have indicated is, is painful for you or that needs attention because I want you to feel from the very first moment to feel like your needs are being attended to. And 
when, when you feel your hands start right on that spot where you really need help, then that part of you that might worry, you may have this some, some worry mind going, thinking, well, I wonder if she's going to really be able to help me. You know, I wonder if, if my lower back's going to feel better. I hope she spends a lot of time on my lower back. And if I start on your head or your feet when you've told me your lower back is really hurting, this worry mind kind of chatter may continue for a while until I finally go to your lower back and give some attention there. So I want to start with you feeling that sense of, oh yes, this is what I need. So you can just let go of your worries, relax into the experience. And then I'm going to, um, depending on whether there are acute physical symptoms that I want to try to calm or whether I want to try to calm the central nervous system or whether I want to really get energy moving in your body because maybe you're a little bit lethargic and your energy is low. I'm going to start working in a way where I'm just moving around, I'm getting a lot of movement going in the body while I'm doing detailed massage work on muscles that are tight. There's a lot of stretching, joint mobilization. I want to I want you to feel your body in a very whole sort of way. So sometimes um, for example if I'm working with your shoulder, I'll move away from there and then start really bringing your whole arm into that work and your back. So I want you to feel the way that your the, that your shoulder feels when your back is being stretched, when your arm is being stress, stretched. I want you to feel the shoulder muscles as I move your arm through the whole range of motion. Then I may want you to feel the whole right side of your body by doing a long stroke from the tip of the fingers all the way down the arm, over the hip, down the leg, um, off the foot so that you can experience what the whole right side of your body feels like. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be doing a bit of a long stretch too. So you're feeling it not just with, with my hands, but with all of the muscles along that side of the body being stretched. And I continue and continue and continue all of that for about 90 minutes or so until it feels complete. Linda, your your passion. I can feel your passion from here. I can feel. I can feel. Yeah, your I just want to get up and get, get to the massage table right now. I can feel. I can feel the joy that you that the joy that you have in life, the exquisite joy of being. Could you possibly? Could you share with us how individuals could contact you? Yes, uh, my website is peacehope.com. That's peace and hope peacehope.com. You can find my email address there, which I'll just tell it to you. It's Linda Gert, L-I-N-D-A-G-E-R-T, as in Linda Gertrude, Linda Gert at gmail.com. Or you can call me on my cell phone at 586-531-5497. And I live and work in Mount Washington, and I'm very happy to talk to you about coming here for an appointment. We uh, so much enjoyed having you today and some of the things that you can do to, to enhance individuals' lives. Uh, any comments from my colleagues before we end? I thought it was very good, a very um, uh, nice way to uh, show us a different side of things and a different way that we can connect with mind and body. Exactly. Without repeating, I just want to say thank you for um, being with us today and sharing your story with us. Linda, I look forward to having an extended conversation with you in the future. Me too. Thank you, Jim. To continue the conversation, please like us on Facebook, plus us on Google+, or follow us on Twitter under St. Clair Life. You can also find this and other Grand Rounds on youtube.com slash St. Clair Video and find audio versions on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. And please visit www.stayclair.com for more about us and other articles on our great blog. And as always, uh, each uh, week we end with a free prescription, fruits, nuts, and vegetables, unplug your television, and perhaps take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, fish, try fishing without bait. No expectations. So until the next time, once again, your assignment is please be good to yourself. Thank you so much for joining us today.